So Donald Trump cleaned up on Tuesday in the Northeast. Oh boy, the Northeast. I thought those were the smart voters were. But you gotta, you gotta have, who, who was, what was their choice? <laughs> really? Don, Cruz? It's, it's, uh, dude. Anyway, so he gave us, here's, I just wanted to play this real quick. He, uh, Donald Trump gave his victory speech. Now you see who's behind him. You got the Christie's, right? You got the Christie's. <laughs> And they and they're making it's like they're making a little Trump sandwich. It's like they're making a Trump sandwich. Isn't that nice? So uh I know, isn't that it's funny, right? Well, it's I hilarious. Want, I want a poster for, for the non video viewers. They're both leaning and it's just hilarious. It's, it's so it's, funny. It's yeah. funny. Here we the go. The look of horror <laughs> on their faces. I think the only card she has is the woman's card. She's got nothing else going. And frankly, if Hillary Clinton were a man, I don't think she'd get 5% of the vote. The only thing she's got going. Mm. First of all, I don't know. She seems a little upset by that. But I just say, yeah. hey, you know, the Christie's, they take everything Trump says with a pinch of salt and pepper and ice cream and gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, am I right? <laughs> Chris Christie looks like he looks like an extra from an Ed Wood movie. Am I wrong? Is that no, back there? That's what it looks like. And by the way, this is I don't know how many people were there, but at with Chris Christie there, every Trump rally is filled to capacity. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this, this may be the thing that that finally gets Mrs. Christie to divorce Chris Christie. I don't like, think so. This has been a terrible marriage. But you didn't say you'd, I'd have to go to these rallies. Oh, yeah. I think you're right Oh, come that. on. She couldn't wait to be standing on stage with them. She looks happy. Come on. Come yeah. on. She's in so it. Let, so she, let, She's normally keeping the plane running, but they got somebody now. So let's, so let's listen to that again. There we go. Ready? The only thing she's got going is the woman's card. And the beautiful... The only thing she's got going is the woman's card. And she also has the DNC card, the Goldman Sachs card, <laughs> and the get-out-of-jail-free card from the Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? The thing is, women don't like her, okay? And look how well I did with women tonight. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. So, if Hillary Clinton was a man, she and Bill would have been for same-sex marriage a lot earlier. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Boy, by the way, Trump's tan lines. <laughs> does he, uh, I heard somebody, somebody suggested that he, do, he does a little Cheeto spray before he goes up. He's a little it's, more orange than normal. Maybe you can't tell in this video of him. Yeah, the color's off a little. But yeah, it's some flaming hot Cheeto stuff going on there. I got to tell you, Trump's appearance is the least yeah. of our yeah. No, you're right. He's going to win the women, though. That's what he's saying. Huh? He's going to win the women. Women hate her. He's going to win the women. And then he's going to win the Latino vote. And then he's going to win the Muslim vote. <laughs> and then, boom, he's got the presidency in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> right? Women, Muslims, Mexicans, Trump's got them. They love them. They love them. So um, that's it. That's all I wanted to say about that. I thought that was fun. By the way, it's proven it's statistically wrong. Like if if the, I mean, women despise Trump. He's oh, of course, yeah. He, they, but 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 what does it say about this country, Robert? That uh, it looks like the country has decided the people most interested in politics have voted in the primaries. And they've chosen the two most hated people running for president to represent us. The highest negatives is Donald Trump. Second highest is Hillary Clinton. Highest negatives of any Democratic nominee. It's unbelievable. Her negatives are off the charts. So is his. And these are the people we... Everyone hates these two people. What kind of a freaking election is this going to be? But that... You're right. That's the problem is that, that the people who are uh, voting are not indicative of the whole populace at all and I, I in the primaries and in the general that's the way it is well the problem with the primaries for the democrats is that the independents uh were cut out they were a lot of closed primaries where the independents. so the independent so what i'm saying is that the democrats didn't want to expand their party that's what an open primary does is you go hey maybe we have a candidate that independents like so we'll bring them into the democratic party during the primary they didn't do that a lot of primaries but in new york you had to decide last october if you yeah, wanted Trump, to vote. Trump's kids could not vote for him in the primary. Right, right. I'm just saying it's uh, it's a it's a bad idea to do that. You're right. Uh, the majority of people in the country don't want either of these two people to be our president. Isn't that funny? Yet those are the two. The way our system works. Mm hmm. That's it. Sometimes. Um, by the way, this isn't democracy. What's happening? 
A lot of this could be fixed just by the Justice Department. A the lot. Justice Department just saying, like, look, all state laws regarding voting have to be reviewed. All of them. A lot period. of this a lot of this could be fixed if Americans got their head out of their ass and stopped supporting neoliberalism and conservatism. That's what would help.